Take me out to California. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Holly and on this channel we talk mostly about self-development, positive mindset and how to deal with this chaotic world that we live in and bounce back from challenges that you will face. I also talk about being a mom of two girls and family life and all of that stuff as well. If you like this video, if you like this channel, then please do make sure that you drop me a subscribe because then it lets me know that people are watching, that people care, that people want me to make more videos like this and leave me a comment and click that little bell thing. I don't know if that's a bell. That's not a bell, is it? Bell? bell thing and then you will get notified when I make videos. In this video we are preparing for Christmas and I want to talk to you about why presents aren't the thing you should be focusing on. So I think I've talked about this before on this channel but what I really dislike about Christmas is the, the just obsession with materialistic rubbish and this horrible need to compete with each other in terms of how many presents that we buy and if we've bought enough and bought enough and if this you know if we've got our children enough things if we've got our family members enough things if we if we've done enough all of the time this almost competitive nature that comes with christmas i see you know parents and i see um just people with piles of presents um online and it it really makes me feel quite stressed out about it i don't like it and the reason i don't like it is not because i'm a killjoy and because i want to be scrooge at christmas it's because it's not what matters and i think that so many people get caught up in competing with other people's ideas of what christmas should look like that they don't really enjoy christmas themselves at all and it just it makes me feel a bit sad for me christmas you know it's not a religious thing i'm not religious so although it's christmas it is a christmas it is does come from a, a religious thing for a huge percentage of people it's no longer that thing i'm not saying that it shouldn't be if, if you believe in that that's you you do you um but there's many people that are of different religions that still celebrate that holiday because it's become about it's become more than that hasn't it it's more than just about a god or something like that so um for most of us it's about being around family it's about giving and receiving gifts for sure that is part of it but that doesn't have to be all that it is and i just think that there's so much around this whole black friday and spending and this panic buying and you've got to get this and you've got to buy everybody presents that you know you've got to make sure that you give out cards you've got to um your teachers need presents and then i see people coming into the school playground with an excess of presents for the teachers now can i just put out there i think the teachers in the teachers that teach our children are heroes they're amazing they're incredible i couldn't do what they do and i'm grateful so much for the amazing teachers that both my daughters have and i do think that we should thank them in some way um what i worry about is that not everybody has the funds not everybody has the mon money to be able to do that for everybody not everybody is able to buy for everybody and there is such a pressure on people who may have low income um you know low income families that they have to get everybody stuff all of the time and and it should be this much spent and all of that and i i just can't stand it because it's just not what it's about and and it just doesn't matter i see people coming into the playground around christmas and they've got such a lot of presents for like every teacher in the school and i'm like it makes you it, even me as somebody who's fairly stable it makes you start thinking oh god i'm have I not done enough? Am I not enough? Have I not done enough? Have I not thanked them enough? And and you go into this tailspin of, you know, not being enough and not getting it right. And I think so many people feel this. And it, again, it comes down to even the, the stuff you buy for your, your children or your, your people in your family. Like how much should you spend? Or how many presents should you get? And all of this kind of stuff. And there's this competitive awful thing and then we go online or we go onto our um tvs and all we see is advert stuff 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 i mean certainly for me i've always taught my children christmas birthdays whatever you don't ask for stuff like 
that may be the wrong thing to say you don't not not ask but you don't expect it's about expectation so you don't expect that you just get all of the things that you want um because that's not realistic for everybody it isn't and i actually think my children are really appreciative they are actually very appreciative children and that's because i've always really i've set the bar quite low with that stuff because i want them to appreciate when they get something it's a treat and it's a nice thing if they get something every time we go out and i'm not saying my children don't get a lot because they do and i do have to we go we we do nice things so they do have a lot of stuff i guess but in terms of like physical like toys and things that sort of matter to kids they don't have very expensive stuff and they don't get a lot of it and so when they do it's a huge big deal in fact just this week i took my daughters out i gave them it was actually their own money i allowed them to spend their own money um at b and m which is their favorite shop i probably mentioned it on here before and i, I think they should really sponsor me because i talk about them a lot but b and m home Souls, it's a real cheapy shop here in the uk i'm not sure if it's elsewhere it's a bargain shop right and my daughters love it because they can get loads for their money and so after they did gymnastics at the weekend they did their first gymnastics competition and so i said they could spend 10 pound and they went and got all this stuff because you can get a lot of stuff for that 10 pound and they came home and um yeah they they ended up having a bit of a, a moment where they got that stuff taken back off them they're earning it back now but the fact that i can do that is because i because my children care about that stuff and it's not just oh well we'll get another thing then another thing will be coming along it's fine so at christmas there's just such an influx of presents everyone wants to buy your children stuff and really truly and and this sounds a strange thing to say but for those first of all for those of you that don't know my husband died two years ago my daughter's father he died of brain cancer there's plenty of videos on that on this channel which you can watch and learn about that story so i'm not saying this flippantly but what happens when your children are bereaved of a parent is that people lovingly want to give more but i'm really mindful that that can't be the case and my husband would have hated that because we've never done that and we know we've always tried to say to people please just one present you know that's grandparents and and friends and anybody just one don't give more than that because it has to go somewhere and often i will take some of the presents off the kids after christmas and put them in the loft and get them out in dribs and drabs because i don't want them to have so much they don't appreciate it and that can happen at christmas and it really whether it's your kids or whether it's your partner or friends or whatever the gifts don't have to be they're not the main thing the main thing about christmas surely is to to rest to recuperate to eat good food to be merry to you know enjoy socializing with people that you love time to wind down i guess if you've got time off work at christmas then you you get to have a bit of a break and all of that kind of stuff and to acknowledge the year that's gone by but we get so sucked into the present buying so I just want you to consider yourself and what you do at Christmas and let yourself off the hook because you don't have to spend an absolute ton on everybody and I'm going to do a video I'm not sure if it will be before or after this but if if it's before then you will have already seen this video about five ways that you can um, give a present for free and if you have watched this and it is not yet on my YouTube channel then you will you can look forward to that because i'll be telling you about five ways that you can give somebody something for free at christmas because there are many ways that we can give things without any money whatsoever and often the most important things in fact not often always the most important things are without money now there's nothing wrong with money there's nothing wrong with buying presents i am not scrooge and i i hope you have a wonderful time and you get all of the things that you want but i also don't want you to obsess over this competitive thing with presents because my daughters one year one of my daughters got mushy peas as one of our presents because she really loved mushy peas and blue tack was another one so it might have been a birthday or christmas i can't remember but whatever it was it doesn't matter because it doesn't always have to be about super expensive stuff and you if you've got children as well you will set the bar with your children whether it's birthdays or christmas 
you let them know what they can and can't have. There's things like these LOL dolls that people are going on about that my kids don't care, care for. And the reason they don't care for them is because I went, they're rubbish, you're not getting them. Because I didn't want them, I didn't want a ton of plastic to turn up in my house that I didn't want. And also they're quite expensive. And I just think once you've kind of got sucked into that, you're forever buying that stuff to go with that stuff because it's the thing that they like. And it's like, nah, you decide what they like and what they don't in those when they're very young. And of course they will be influenced by their friends, but then you influence that. You teach them that, you know what, everybody has different things and different ways of celebrating Christmas. And yeah, I think it's a very important thing to let yourself off the hook, to not worry about over and spending at Christmas and then getting yourself into issues in the new year. Don't do it. My friends, don't do it. It doesn't need to be done. You set the expectation. You say how this is going to go okay so you run your ship as you want to do it and don't spend more than you can afford because there's no need whatsoever and only you are putting the expectation on yourself to do that so just don't you're enough you're enough if you go to everybody do you know what i can't afford christmas presents this year you're still enough you're still wonderful um have an amazing christmas if you're seeing this just before christmas and i will speak to you all soon peace Take me out to cut